This is going to be our first video talking about how to calculate probabilities. And so in this video, I just want to introduce two things. Uh, one is the pathway method for looking at probabilities, and the other is the pie chart method. So, um, so for the pathway method, uh, what we're going to be doing basically is drawing things that will look like this. And so what this will mean, like for instance, if we flip a coin, um, then this would mean, this part would mean, okay, we flipped the coin, we have two possibilities, either it comes out heads or tails. So if we are doing two things, let's say we're flipping a nickel and a dime. So we could have nickel heads and nickel tails. And we're also flipping a dime. And so that means for a dime, we also have two possibilities. Um, so this would be the dime flip and the nickel flip. And then when we flip the dime, then if we get heads on the dime, then what that would mean is this pathway. So we've looked at these two things that happened. So this would mean we had a nickel, the nickel heads and dime heads. So we can write it like this. And then if we could get the nickel heads, but then the dime tails. And um, here we have the same thing, the dime heads uh, and the nickel tails. And the dime tails and the nickel tails. So this is the way that we can work through our probabilities. We'll see um, that we, we're, we can calculate the probability of each path. But for now, I just want to introduce this concept of what we're doing here, right? We have these two different events. And, and, and it makes the most sense if we think about the first thing that happened is this one, and then the second thing that happened is that one. But actually, it doesn't matter. They could happen at the same time. We could flip the nickel and the dime at the same time, and we can still use this pathway. So, so that's what we're going to be doing when we draw these pathways out. In the next videos, we'll be talking about how we can use that to calculate probabilities. So then the other thing I want to talk about is the pie chart method. And so in a pie chart, you know, a pie chart will tend to, it'll be subdivided, and each one of these pieces of pie uh, will represent some possibility. So this could be, um, uh, this could be nation of origin in San Francisco. And, you know, we have maybe mostly U.S. born people, and um, we'd have a lot of people from Mexico, and so forth. So it could be uh, whatever we want to represent on this, but it's basically 100% is the whole pie, and then each one is a little bit of it. And so, in our case, um, we can also divide things up. We can take our pie chart and divide them up based on probabilities. So, for instance, if we flip a coin, um, then we have a 50% chance of heads and a 50% chance of tails. Uh, and, and we can also divide it up in terms of our, our two if we uh, flip a dime and a nickel, um, then we'd have dime heads, nickel heads, sorry, <laughs> dime tails, nickel tails, dime tails, nickel heads, and so forth. Okay, so these are the two major ways we're going to be using um, to talk about probabilities in the next videos.